Good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to Simmons Field. Today, the Comets take on the Blue Sox. South Bend sports a record of 56-47. Good enough for second in the Division 1. The last place Comets have a 38-65 record. The Comets have a 5-game losing streak. South Bend has won 21 of 34 games from Kenosha this season. It's 70 degrees. And there's not a single cloud in sight. The wind is blowing left to right at 10 miles per hour. The first pitch is coming up. Elise Harney will take mound for the Comets. The Submariner is 1321 with a 2.73 ERA. Striking out 110 in 287 innings pitched. Harney is 5th in saves in the IH Blue with 0 and 5th in strikeouts with 110. Josephine D'Angelo is up to bat. He's hitting .235 this year. With 4 home runs and 24 runs batted in. He is 5th in home runs with 4. Harney is into his windup. And lets it go. Change up way inside, ball 1. Harney kicks and deals. D'Angelo swings. Nub toward the mound. Westerman barehands it. The throw to first. It's off target, in the dirt. And O'Hara can't reach it. D'Angelo goes to second base on the throwing error. That's the 56th error for Westerman this year at catcher. Getting set to hit is Floor Reich. He is second in home runs with 7, 5th in stolen bases with 60, and first in runs scored with 69. South Bend has a man in scoring position. Floor Reich hopes to move him over. Harney comes set. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Weak roller. Left side near third. McCreary moves in. A depth barehanded pickup. But there's no chance to get him. So he hangs onto the ball and makes no throw. Credit Floor Reich with an infield hit. Over to third goes D'Angelo. Runners at the corners for South Bend with no one down. From the stretch. Harney glances at the runners. And the pitch. The runner going. At the knees, strike one. Westerman rifles it to Lester. The tag, he's safe. Floor Reich is now 61 for 73 in the stolen base department. Betsy Jockham is up. He's batting .267. With no home runs and 47 runs batted in. He is 5th in batting average at .267. Harney throws the 1-2. Swung on. A high bounder toward the hole on the left side. Burick up with it. The throw to first. And that's all she wrote for Jockham. D'Angelo comes home with a run. Margaret Stefani comes to the plate. He's hitting .209 so far in his rookie season. Hitting .198 versus Kenosha, 21 for 106. Runner on second with one out. Harney works from the stretch. The pitch. Floor right takes off for third. Sinker misses inside. The throw to third, safe. Floor right swipes the base. Floor right now has 62 stolen bases this season. The pitch. Stefani swings. And he strokes a clean single to center. Into score comes Floor Reich. The Stefani single scores one. Margaret Stefani with his 50th RBI. The Blue Sox increase their lead, it's 2 -0. South Bend has a runner on first. And there's one out. Harney stretches. Checks Stefani. Kicks and deals. Stefani breaks for second. On the outside corner with a fast ball, 0 and 1. The throw to second, safe. Stefani steals his 77th base the season. 
Here's Johanna Hageman. Harney delivers. Cut on and missed. Harney quickly disposes of Hageman. Up to bat is Dorothy Schroeder. He's hitting .172. With no home runs and 30 runs batted in. The pitch comes in. Schroeder swings. A high fly ball. Carrying to deep left. Chasing it is Mickelson. And he reaches up to grab it. The side's retired. The Blue Sox score two runs on two hits and lead one. The Blue Sox have taken the lead to a Margaret Berger gets the call for the Blue Sox. Berger has 20 wins and 13 losses. And a 2.32 ERA. Hitters have a slugging percentage of .281 against him. Berger is third in wins in the Ahij Blue with 20, second in innings with 298.1, and fifth in saves with zero. Pauline Purick steps to the plate. He's batting .232. With no home runs and 32 RBI. The windup, the pitch. Purick swings. Very high pop-up. In foul territory, right side. McLean may have a play. After it, McLean. And he hauls it in for the first out. Mary Louise Lester is next up. 0.171 is his average for the season. With no home runs and 20 runs batted in. To one the count. The pitch. Swung on. Wrapped on the ground to the right side. Hageman gloves it cleanly. He'll hustle to the base. And Lester is out. Shirley Jamison digs in. He is fifth in runs scored with 60 and first in stolen bases with 94. The wind up. The three to pitch. Jamison swings. Hit well. Toward the gap in deep left center. D'Angelo hustles after it. Near the track. The ball hits the wall on a hop. Jamison rounds second. D'Angelo grabs it. The throw sails into third. Jamison slides. And he's safe. Jamison legs out a triple. Genevieve Audrey Wagner steps in to face Berger. Jamison at third can run. Berger in the set position. Glances at Jamison. Kicks and deals. Wagner swings at it. Weak fly ball. Down the line in right. Charging hard is floor right. And he reaches up to glove it. Side retired. The Comets get a hit but nothing else. The score is still to a blue socks over the Comets. Here comes Lucella McLean. McLean steps in with a .170 batting average. He's gone 11 for 55 against Kenosha, a .200 average. The wind-up, the pitch. The swing. Lined hard. Outdoor short center field. It falls in for McLean. There's no one out. Out of the stretch. Harney brings it home. The runner going. Knee high on the outside corner, strike one. Westerman mishandles the pitch. He can't get it out of his glove. As McLean steals second. McLean is now 34 of 41 in stolen base attempts. The next batter is Mabel Holly. He's hitting .243. With no home runs and 34 RBI. 3 to the count on Holly. Harney from the stretch. The payoff pitch. Holly swings right through it for strike 3. Harney registers his second strikeout. Now, Margaret Berger. There's one out for South Bend. Harney finds the sign. Straightens up. And deals. Berger hacks at it. Hit in the air. Out to left field. Mickelson after it. And he reels it in. Josephine D'Angelo to hit next. Harney coming back. Swung on. Weak fly ball. Outdoor short left. Coming on, Mickelson. And he reaches to make the catch. That retires the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. 
a man left on. The Blue Sox maintain their lead to a Hitting is Ethel McCreary. Berger from the windup. The pitch. McCreary with a swing. Roped on a line. To shallow right field down the line. Floor right racing in. But he can't get there in time. It drops in for a base hit. Janice O'Hara steps in. He's batting .205. With no home runs and 22 RBI. It's to a blue Sox. As Kenosha bats in the bottom of the second. The long look. Now the pitch. O'Hara turns to bunt. And makes contact. Toward the pitcher. Berger gloves it. The throw to first. And they get the out. That gives O'Hara his 18th sacrifice this season. McCreary to second. Helen Westerman comes to the plate. He's batting .192. With no home runs and 17 runs batted in. From the stretch. The pitch. Westerman swings. Ripped hard on the ground. Over toward first. Fielded by the first baseman Hageman. He'll take care of it himself. And Westerman is retired. Over to third goes McCreary. Darlene Mickelson is next. Berger stretches the arms. Tugs the cap. Now stares in for the sign. He's got one. And here comes the pitch. Mickelson swings. A hot shot on the ground. Toward short. Schroeder dives, and has it. To his knees. The throw to first. It skips in the dirt. And Hageman can't corral it. Mickelson will reach second on the two base error. McCreary scores. Hitting next, Elise Harney. Berger rocks. The 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss. He makes short work of Harney. That retires the side. The Comets pick up a run. The Comets draw closer, it's now to one The South Bend leadoff batter is Lois Florike. The wind up by Harney. And the pitch. Swung on. Hard ground ball. To the hole, left side. He extends. And it rolls into left field. Florike makes the turn at first. But he thinks better of it. One one is the count. Harney gets the sign. From the stretch. The pitch. Floor right is running. Low. Ball two. The throw to second. Floor right goes in head first. Here's the tag. Close but safe. Floor right gets his 63rd stolen base. The hitter is Jockham. He knocked in one with a ground out his last at bat. The two to pitch. Strike three called. Bye bye, Mr. Jockham. The next batter will be Margaret Stefani. And again Harney pitches. Harney loses him, ball four. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swung on. Ground ball. Toward short. Burek reaches. But he misses it. Burek exhibiting his defensive limitations. Jameson will hurry to field it. Floor right takes third. Taking second, Stefani. Floor right around third and heading home. The throw home. Floor right slides. Westerman turns and applies the tag. And he's safe. Hageman brings home one with a single. Johanna Hageman gets his 45th RBI. The score is now 3-1 Blue Sox. That will bring up Schroeder. The two ball one strike pitch. Swung on. Liner. To short right field. Wagner on the run. And he closes the glove on it. Two outs. Lucella McLean is set to hit. 
he is 10 for 52.192, with runners in scoring position. The pitch. McLean swings. Grounder to the right side. O'Hara up with it. He'll race to the base. And McLean is out. That's the inning. One run in on two hits. South Bend pads their lead. The score is now 3-1 Blue Sox. Burek is up to bat. Berger winds and delivers. Burek swings. Hard liner. Down the line to shallow left field. After it is Jockham. It's a base hit for Burek. Burek with the turn. Jockham has the ball. The throw goes to second. Burek with a head first slide. And he's safe. Burek with a double. Mary Louise Lester comes up to bat. One to count on the hitter. Berger gets the sign. Stretches and deals. Swung on. Grounded toward third. Holly grabs it. The throw over to Hageman. And Lester is retired. The next batter up is Shirley Jamison. Triple to left center off Berger in the first. There's one out. Three and two is the count. The stretch, the pitch. Swung on. Hit in the air. To center. D'Angelo goes back. And he pulls it in. The batter up is Genevieve Audrey Wigner. He flied out to shallow right his last time up. Two gone in the bottom of the third. Berger from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Wigner swings. Hard hit ground ball. To the left side, toward short. Fielded by the shortstop Schroeder. The throw to first. And he gets it there in time. Inning over. Nothing on a hit for Kenosha. No change in the score, the Blue Sox still up 3-1. Stepping in is Mabel Holly. Holly digs back in. And waits for the one to pitch. Here it is. Cut on and missed for strike three. Harney fans him with a sinker. Margaret Berger steps in. He's zero for one this game. Bases empty with one out. From the wind up. Harney offers. Berger swings. Ground ball toward the hole on the left side. Handled by McCreary. The throw to first. And Berger is cut down. Hitting next is Josephine D'Angelo. The catcher Westerman sets his target. Harney deals. D'Angelo with a swing. Here's a big bounding ball. Out toward short. Burek gets in front of it. The throw to first. In time to retire D'Angelo. Side retired. The Blue Sox go down in order. The Blue Sox still leading 3-1. Ethel McCreary leads off the fourth for Kenosha. He's now one for one. Having singled in the second. Here's the pitch. Swung on. High pop fly. On the infield, right side in foul territory. It's curling toward the dugout. Hageman on the move. And he makes the catch. Here's Janice O'Hara. Back in the second. With the runner on first. He laid down a sacrifice bunt. One out in the fourth. Berger starts the wind up. And here's his pitch. Swung on. Grounded hard. Toward second. Stefani plays it cleanly. 
the throw over to first. And O'Hara is out. Westerman is next for the Comets. 1-0 on Westerman. Here's the wind-up. And the delivery to Westerman. Swung on. Fly ball. Out toward left field. Jockham angling after it. And he brings it down. The inning's over. Nothing across for the Comets. The score is 3-1 Blue Sox over the Comets. Lois Floorreich leads off the fifth for South Bend. He's 2 for 2. With a single his last at bat in the third. The count is 2 2 on Floorreich. Harney cranks and throws. Down he goes, swinging. And the batter now, Betsy Jockham. The payoff pitch. Swung on. Slap to the right side. Lester is right there to field it. And he gets it to first for the out. Next is Stefani. Full count. Harney delivers. Stefani swings. Grounder to the shortstop Thurik. Easy pickup. And he loops his throw across to O'Hara for the out. The fifth inning's over for South Bend. Nothing across for the Blue Sox. The Blue Sox still out in front 3-1. The right-handed batting Mickelson gets set to hit. Back in the second inning. He reached on an error by the shortstop Schroeder. Berger delivers. Swung on. Wrapped hard to right for a single. Berger wheels and deals. Harney squares. Bunts it. Out toward the hill. Berger fields it. The throw to first. And that retires Harney. Harney executes the sacrifice bunt. Mickelson takes second. The right-handed batting Pauline Purick up to bat. He's one for two. With a double in the third. Now the pitch. Purick swings. Hit in the air. To deep center field. Hurrying back is D'Angelo. And he brings it in. right-handed batting Lester stands in. Up to bat in the third. With a runner on second. He grounded out. For the game, 0 for 2. The pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike 3. That retires the side. Nothing on one hit for Kenosha. The score remains 3-1 Blue Sox over the Comets. Johanna Hageman leads off the sixth for South Bend. He picked up a base hit in the third. Into the windup. The three to pitch. Hageman swings at it. Flared. To shallow left field. It gets down for Hageman. Dorothy Schroeder to hit next. Lined out to Wagner in right his last at bat. For the game, 0 for 2. South Bend has a runner on first. And there's no one out. Check of the runner Hageman. And now the pitch. Schroeder showing bunt. He makes contact. Near the plate. Westerman out to make the play. He sends it to first. And he's out. Schroeder laid down a good sacrifice bunt. Hageman advances to second base. Now batting, Lucella McLean. Here's the pitch from Harney. Swung on. And he grounds it. Past the mound up the middle. And it finds center field. McLean rounds first. But puts on the brakes. Taking third Hageman. Around third and on his way home is Hageman. The throw comes home. Hageman slides head first. And he's safe. Locello McLean delivers the RBI single. The Blue Sox increase their lead. It's 4-1. The batter is Holly. Harney stretches the arms. Tugs the cap. Now stares in for the sign. He's got one. 
And here comes the pitch. Holly with a swing. Here's a hard ground ball. To the right side of the diamond. Lester makes a clean pickup. Tosses it to second for one. But no throw. As Pyrrhic is upended by McLean. That will bring up Berger. He's 0 for 2 in the game. Harney sends it in. Swing by Berger. A hot shot on the ground. Past the mound. And it's through and into center field. Jameson will pick it up. Holly to second. The hitter is D'Angelo. The shortstop Burek threw him out. On a ground ball back in the fourth. Harney leans in for the sign. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Score that a K for Harney. Harney with strikeout number six. The side is retired. The Blue Sox get a run on three hits, no errors. Two runners left on. The Blue Sox now lead the Comets, 4-1. Jameson will lead off. And with his team trailing. He'll look to spark the offense. The pitch on its way. Jameson swings. Shirley really steps on that one. Down the line toward deep right field. Floor right races after it. It drops in rolling into foul territory. Heading to third Jameson. Floor right has it. The relay. Jameson goes in head first. And he's in safely. Jameson has himself a three-bagger. Jameson has hit ten triples this season. Jameson ties the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League regular season game record. Four triples with two. Now hitting, the right fielder, Genevieve Audrey Wigner. He's been up two times without a hit. Further with no walks. And two strikeouts. The stretch, the pitch. Swung on. Little fly ball. To short right. Floor right on the run. And he reaches out to catch it. The batter is Ethel McCreary. His batting line, 1 for 2. The stretch. The 3-2. Fast ball low. That's ball 4. Next is Janice O'Hara. The count is 1 and 2 on O'Hara. Berger toes the rubber. As the sign. And now from the stretch. Here's the pitch. O'Hara swings. Hit in the air. To deep center. Back on it is D'Angelo. And he'll haul it in. Jameson tagging. He scores. Runner on first with two out. The stretch. And the pitch. McCreary is on the move. On the inside corner, strike one. McLean throws to second. The catcher throws it way off target, into the outfield. Error number 42 for McLean at catcher. McCreary takes third. Here's Westerman. Berger delivers. Westerman swings. A grounder. Third base side. Holly there to field it. He sends it to first. And Westerman is out. The sixth inning's over. One run, one hit, one error. A runner left on. The Comets draw closer, the score is now 4-2. Top of the seventh for South Bend. Here's Lois Florreich. So far, two for three with two singles. Harney kicks and fires. Florreich swings. And he hits it in the air to straight away right. Back on it Wigner. And reaching up he has it. Here's Betsy Jockham. Base is empty with one out. Harney is ready. Into the wind up. The pitch. Jockham with a swing. A fast ball Scott. Toward right center. Wigner on the move. Jameson also converges on it. But Wigner calls him off. And he hauls it in. Here's Margaret Stefani a right-handed batter. Margaret is one for two. Bases empty, two out. The wind-up. And the delivery from Harney. Stefani swings. Fast ball hit on the ground. Toward second. Routine for Lester. The throw to first. And Stefani is retired. 
That's all for South Bend in the seventh. South Bend goes in order. The Blue Sox remain in front, 4-2. Time now for the seventh inning stretch. to lead it off for Kenosha in the seventh. Here's Darlene Mickelson. He's one for two. Berger toes the rubber. Into the windup. He kicks and fires. Mickelson swings. Hit on the ground a five hopper, to Schroeder. He makes the quick throw to first to retire Mickelson. Substitution. Cohn hits next. Hitting to the tune of .000 as a pinch hitter. The pitch. Cohn swings. Put airborne. Toward deep center field. D'Angelo goes back. But he can't control it. And it falls at his feet for an error. Here's Pauline Puruk. He flied out to center last time up. Three to the count. Berger is set. Here comes the pitch. Puruk swings. Sinker hit on the ground. Left side. Fielded by Schroeder. The throw to first. Low throw. Hageman is able to dig it out. And Purik is out. The batter is Lester. With runners in scoring position. He's hitting point two four three, seventeen 17 for 70. The count is 1-2 on the hitter. Berger comes to the set. And here's the pitch. Struck him out. That was a sinker off the plate. Score it a K for Berger. That's all for Kenosha in the 7th. The one error by South Bend is harmless. As Kenosha gets nothing. The score remains 4-2 in favor of the Blue Sox. Substitution. Entering the game for Kenosha right hand Ermirna Nearing. Opponents have hit .308 against him. Here's Johanna Hageman. He's gone 2 for 3. With one run scored and one RBI. The wind up, the pitch. Strike 1. The pitch. The swing. Slow ground ball toward the mound. Nearing grabs it. The hard throw to first. It's hot. And it sails over the head of O'Hara. Hageman will take second base on the error. Next up is Dorothy Schroeder. Westerman standing, arm extended. They're walking Schroeder. Long look in by Nearing. Here's the pitch. McLean turns to bunt. And makes contact. In front of the plate. Westerman has it. Throws it to the shortstop covering third. And he's safe. On his way to second is Schroeder. Here's Holly with the sacks full. When he was up in the sixth. He grounded out to the second baseman. Here's the pitch. Swung on. A tapper. Toward the mound. Nearing fields it. Heaves it home. Hageman is out at home. The throw to first. And he's out. Heads up play. Schroeder moves to third. McLean takes second. Margaret Berger the batter. So far one for three. Berger waits. The pitch. Swung on. Fastball hit in the air. Out into deep center. Jamison in pursuit. Reaching. 
but he can't get to it. It gets all the way to the track. Scoring is Schroeder. McLean hustles home with the run. Jameson retrieves the ball. The relay. Berger slides. And he's safe. It'll be a double for Berger. Berger delivers a 2 RBI double. The Blue Sox extend their lead to 6-2. Here's D'Angelo. 0 for 4. From the stretch. The pitch. Swung on. Wrapped on the ground. Toward the mound. Burek with a diving lunge. Smothers it. Back to his feet. Sets. The throw to first. And he's out by half a step. Good hustle by Burek. Side retired. One error by Kenosha in the inning. As South Bend scores two times. The Blue Sox add to their lead. It's 6-2. Jameson batting. Batting with the bases empty. He hit a triple in the sixth. The pitch comes home. Jameson with a swing. Driven in the air. Toward the alley in right center. D'Angelo sprints after it. But it's way over his head. The ball takes a sharp carom off the wall. Jameson races toward third. D'Angelo gloves it. The relay. Jameson dives. And he's safe. Jameson has himself a triple. Jameson sets the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League regular season game record. Four triples with three. Here's the right fielder Wigner. He flied out to the right fielder floor right. Back in the sixth inning. Kenosha has a runner at third with no one out. The stretch, the pitch. And it hits Wigner. That'll send him down to first. Ethel McCreary at bat. One to count. Berger sets. Fires it home. McCreary swings. Hit softly in the air. Out to shallow right. Floor right on the move. And he reaches up to grab it. Janice O'Hara at the plate. He brought home one with a sacrifice fly his last time up. A ball and two strikes on O'Hara. From the stretch. Berger glances at the runners. And the pitch. Swung on and missed. O'Hara went after a bad pitch. That makes it 20 strikeouts for Janice O'Hara this season. Westerman stands in for Kenosha. He'll try to keep the inning alive. Grounded out Holly to first, his last time up. Two balls and a strike on Westerman. The stretch, the pitch. Swung on. Ground ball. Past the pitcher toward second. Stefani snatches it up. Floats it over to second. And he's out. That does it for Kenosha in the eighth. Two base runners in the inning. But Kenosha fails to score. The Blue Sox still in front, 6-2. Ninth inning. Floor Reich will bat first. So far, two for four. No balls, one strike to Floor Reich. Nearing winds up. Here it comes. Floor right swings. Blistering line drive. Down the line to deep left. Chasing it is Mickelson. Close to the track. But it's gone. Floor right took nearing deep. Lois floor right launches a shot. That ball landed some 323 feet from home plate. South Bend extends their lead to 7-2. Jockum to bat now. He's without a hit in four chances. The swing. High pop fly. On the infield, right side in foul territory. Might be playable for O'Hara. O'Hara on the move. And he pulls it down. Here's Margaret Stefani. Nearing into his motion. Throws. Swung on. Hit toward third. McCreary pulls it in. And fires to first. 5-3 on the out. Hageman steps in. His full focus on nearing. He's 2 for 4 so far this game. 0-2 the count with 2 outs. Nearing checks the sign. Winds and delivers the pitch. Hageman swings at it. Lofted. Out toward center. After it is Jameson. 
and he reels it in. That retires the side. One run in the inning on the home run. South Bend adds to their lead. The score is now 7-2 Blue Sox. Here's Darlene Mickelson. He grounded out to Schroeder last time. The pitch. Mickelson swings. Grounded hard. In the hole, left side. And it gets through into left field. Mickelson makes the turn at first. But holds on right there. Substitution. And Harnett is up to bat now. .000 as a pinch hitter. The pitch. Harnett swings. Hit up into the air. To center field. D'Angelo races back. And reaching up he catches it. One man on with one man out. Here comes the pitch. In the dirt. But McLean keeps on top of it. The hitter is Burak. Last at bat in the seventh. With the runner on second. He grounded out. From the stretch. Burger is set. The 2 1. Swung on. Slapped hard on the ground. Right side. Stefani lunges. But he can't get it. Being not quite good enough defensively. D'Angelo will hustle over to it. Taking second, Mickelson. Here's Mary Louise Lester. He went down on strikes his last time up. The count is 3 0. Berger from the stretch. The pitch. Berger misses with a fastball. And loads the bases. Over to third goes Mickelson. Burek takes second. The batter will be Jamison. He's 3 for 4. With a triple to right center. His last time up in the eighth. The count is two balls and one strike. With one out. The stretch. And the pitch. Swung on. Fly ball. Down the line into deep right. Playable for floor right. And he closes the glove on it for the out. Tagging up at third is Mickelson. He scores. Substitution. Coming in to pitch for South Bend right-hander Ruth Bourne. He has allowed 49 hits in 63.2 innings. While striking out 29. He has saved 8 games this season. The hitter is Genevieve Audrey Wigner. The pitcher plunked him his last at-bat. The Blue Sox need one more out to go home winners. Bourne checks the sign. And from the stretch he deals. Swing by Wigner. And rap foul. Here's the pitch. The runners go. Wagner swings. Line shot. To right. Floor right on the move. He reaches up and catches it. Ball game over. The Blue Sox stop Kenosha, 7-3.